Cinematic, bold, are you ready to harness the sheer power of gradients? Well, together, we'll create breathtaking motion graphics and unlock the secrets to making After Effects a truly cinematic experience. So, let's get started and create something awesome. Alright, so of course we'll go through three different gradient examples in this one so that you can show the world that you're unstoppable. <laughs> but first, let's start simple because the first gradient will allow you to take any simple shape and turn it into a cinematic object. For example, start with any of the shape tools and specifically for this one, I'll use the rectangle tool to create a square. Now let's click fill and set this to a linear gradient. So now in the layer you'll see the gradient fill and when you have that selected you should see these points. Go ahead and stretch them out from side to side like paint the house. If you don't get that joke go watch the original Karate Kid. But be sure to set your colors with the edit gradient and I would add some stops as well. The goal is to start with a light primary color and make each stop darker until you get to the last stop which should be black. Now let's begin the actual fun and create a real gradient. Let's apply the directional blur effect and set the direction to any corner and then increase the blur length like crazy. Now I want to see the original details of the square so let's duplicate the shape and then delete the directional blur on the bottom layer. Then just apply the Gaussian blur effect and set it to about 50 or so. This is not an exact setting tutorial so I promise there's no need for perfection. But now to actually make this look good, create a dark solid background along with an adjustment layer. For the first effect, apply the noise effect to that adjustment layer. Set it to around 10% and uncheck use color noise. Now apply the glow effect from stylize. Set the glow radius to around 100 and then alt click the stopwatch and you can type in wiggle and use something like 2 comma 40 to animate your gradient. And when ready, you can duplicate the glow effect and set the radius to nearly you know, 900 to 1000 and then you can expand the duplicated wiggle value to something like 2 comma 300. Lastly, apply the posterize effect and dial this in until you get something that you like. And feel free to animate your shape in any way that you like. So for example, we have two layers here. I'll pair one of them to the other and then keyframe the rotation to give us this spinning design. For another great tip, you can quickly change the colors by using the colorama effect and you can dial through the handful of presets to overhaul your scene in moments. So by using different shapes, you can pull off a number of cinematic gradients to make you a cinematic Mr. Miyagi After Effects guru. In our next example, we'll dive right into creating practical cinematic scenes with a different gradient method. And to give you the best editing experience, be sure to get my free 200 template pack here for After Effects and Premiere Pro. With this, you can get access to over 40,000 assets to help you produce any project you're working on in no time. You can easily update templates to fit your needs and even animate entire projects within a few clicks. So when you need to save time, be sure to check the description below. Alright, we're back in this and to give some meaning to our motion graphics, I want to create a scene where two worlds are essentially colliding, but these techniques can be used for other abstract scenes. So like in our first gradient technique, just create a white shape. However, this time pre-compose it immediately and from here we'll apply the CC radial blur effect and set this point to the edge of the shape and then increase the amount to about 100 and set it to a fading zoom. You can also apply the wiggle 2 comma 20 expression to the amount. If you want a little extra blur, try using the CC radial fast blur and setting the amount to around 10. Now, most importantly, throw in the four color gradient and set all four of these points to around your object. Then you need to choose a primary bright color and then choose colors that will essentially fade this into the background. For an extra touch, try using the linear wipe transition effect and slightly transition the darker portion of the object into the background. Now with some big brain ideas, we can easily duplicate the object and reposition it as needed. Uh, and for a quick cheat, be sure to copy and paste the same exact adjustment layer settings from the first gradient technique to create a dramatic scene. However, try experimenting by deleting the first glow effect and duplicating the second glow effect. And by adjusting posterize, you can create a powerful graphic. You can also apply this specific principle to any shape design as well. This last gradient technique is one of my favorite motion graphics of all time. Just another way to add in a cinematic element without much effort. <laughs> create a huge rectangle at the bottom of the composition and use the wiggle pass property to animate the shape. Just feel free to copy my settings here. 
but for the blur effect, use Gaussian blur and set it above 100. Then throw in the four color gradient to colorize this. I'm gonna be using bright colors here because when we throw in our adjustment layer effects, this will be incredibly vibrant. Keep in mind, you may only wanna use one of the glow effects and feel free to increase the noise. You may also want to increase the threshold to help the glow effect and also consider adjusting posterize. And that looks really cool. Now, go make something cinematic and always be creative.